going to be creating a small subdivision using our partial and alignment commands. We have a boundary here of a small subdivision on a frontage road. So we're going to make a partial out of that. Go to partial create from objects. And that all looks okay. Next thing we're going to do is put an alignment in there so we can create a right away. If you already have polylines in here, then you can use those or a predefined layout from objects. If not, click on the alignment creation tools and you can create it from the the tool commands, but make sure before you do that that you have the site here set. You have to set the site. If you don't have that selected, this won't work because it needs to be associated with your site, which is tied into your partial. Click OK, and then you'll have your tool box come up here. Go to the left hand side and click on tangent, tangent with curves. You can always check these settings. We have them at 200. That looks OK. You can always go back in and actually change these. So we're going to click on that tangent and we'll start somewhere down in here in the mid part of the frontage road and we'll put a PI somewhere in here and a PI here and, and roughly about here for cul-de-sac. There's our alignment. Next thing we'll create, click on partial and then create a right away. It's going to ask you what partial do you want to click and it already knows that this alignment's associated with that site. So if you click on this it'll come up and and give you the, the data that you want to put in there. We have a 25 foot which will give us a 50 foot right away which looks pretty good. What other tie-in radiuses that you want to use you can set those here as well. Now we have a right away in here which is a property on by itself. Now we notice that normally when we do subdivisions we have a cul-de-sac and a turnaround area and this did not create that. The, the, the way that I know how to do this is is I'll put a circle in the center of this and let's say like 50 foot radius and I'll trim that circle from my right away line then I'll do a P edit P E D I T in the command to change this into a actual polyline do you want to change the polyline yes enter enter now it's a polyline then I want to click on my right away and it brings up my ribbon up here which normally will come up like that and you'll click on edit geometry and you'll go over to the break command because I want to break right at the cul-de-sac line intersections on both sides <clears throat> so I'll break it on that side and I'm going to break it on this side and I can erase this little piece that's left over in here <clears throat> then I can extend or take these and put them at the end of the cul-de-sac circle click back on the right away again and with my edit geometry go over here to the join and that one's already highlighted I'll click on the cul-de-sac and then I click on that and now you can see my property it has a cul-de-sac in it and it's nicely joined as one property once we get that done we want to go ahead and lay out our partial so we'll click on partial creation tools and if you look at this beforehand, it, it, you go over to about the fourth box over where it says slide line create, and that's what I'm going to be using, slide line create. And it brings up a box here that shows all my criteria. It, it'll go into the design of the lots and also the site that I'm in and whether you want single family and all this type of criteria you can change at the same time. So you can click OK and it'll give you a preview of what this is going to look like. And it will ask you the partial that you want to use. And you use this partial, which is tied into your right away in alignment. And it's also going to ask you what area do you want the front part of your lots to start at. You know, start here at the frontage road, at the end point of that, and just kind of follow and slide your cursor. Or mouse around back to the end of the other side of your right away and it'll show you an arrow 
where you started in the direction that you in and you just hit enter and it'll give you a preview of your lot layout before you actually uh, change any or actually accept it so you can kind of look at that and say is that is that really what I want um, also down at district redistribute I'm going to pick that to redistribute we'll put say last, last see what that happens there's certain things you can do to, to to look at this to make sure it's going to work you can also take these and uh, see that cleaned up a little bit down in here and uh, in last partial create partial from remainder we can also um, go ahead and hit yes now after you get done with this you can actually come back in here and have a little bit of editing you can pull these around to adjust them in areas like this that you don't want you don't have a lot of play but you do have some that you can use which all that looks pretty good um, this one right here you know you, you, these these lots here you can kind of look at them and see that uh, these are probably half acre lots and we want to scoot these over so we could scoot this one over and it's a lot easier than sitting there and drawing polylines all day long and going back and forth and adding up areas and certainly for preliminary purposes it's absolutely a good tool you can just move these back and forth and uh, now down here you can you might want to leave that actually because you probably you, you might have a detention pond that you need to put in there so you could leave that or once again you can scoot these back around and re, uh, kind of redistribute the acreage in these as you see fit so that's a good deal